What does it mean to supervise a science lab? How can you supervise distance learning students? I'm Harry Keller, and I'm a scientist. I'll show you why online, hands-on labs are supervised labs. Why do some states require that high schools provide supervised hands-on labs, as California does? You can readily find two good reasons, safety and preventing lab avoidance. Safety is fairly obvious. The materials and equipment can be dangerous. Someone experienced in using them should be present to ensure that they aren't mishandled and don't cause injuries. You're watching copper dissolving in nitric acid and producing toxic fumes, a highly dangerous experiment even with qualified supervision. But it can be done safely online. I have designed and run traditional science labs for students and have supervised hundreds of them and know that lab safety is a serious concern. Once I had to put out a dioxane fire caused when students ignored the instructions and the examples of dozens of students surrounding them, they chose to heat this highly flammable solvent with a Bunsen burner instead of the prescribed electrical heating jacket. The flames licked the 20-foot high ceiling of the laboratory room. Insurance to cover accidents in science labs adds substantially to operating costs. Even a simple flame can cause burns and result in toxic vapors when heating some chemicals. Despite all precautions, burns and cuts happen. Sometimes you cannot even predict the events. On another occasion, we were using chlorine water. One student had a violent reaction to the chlorine gas in the air. She may have been asthmatic. Whatever the reason, she spent the period recovering in the nurse's office. Safety issues vanish when your labs come strictly from the Internet. Supervision should ensure that students actually are doing the labs. Students avoid doing labs even in supervised school-based labs. They may appear to go through the motions and then either invent the data from theory or copy data from other students. They may even copy made-up data from other students. Having remote students can make ensuring that they did their work more difficult, especially in these days of rampant social networking. You'll find that some instructors use lab kits for distance learning. They have all sorts of schemes to make sure that students really do the labs. One has students open up the kit box and inventory materials, listing part numbers and names. They then take a picture of the open box for themselves in the picture and send it to the instructor. With the Internet and Photoshop, this barrier is readily overcome by today's students. No matter how cleverly you guard against lab avoidance, you're just challenging some students to figure out how to get around. Your requirements. With online hands-on labs, it's harder to get around doing the labs and it's less necessary because students have much less work to do to get their data. Besides, students like seeing the graphs develop point by point as they do with the data collection. This interaction engages them. You're watching data collection from a lab on daily tides. A student moves the mouse cursor to the place where the water meets the pole and clicks. Students can skip data points that are very uncertain. Every data point comes from actual student activity, usually interactive mouse actions. It cannot just be entered into a lab report later. You know that someone really took those data and they're stored on a server for later retrieval. Those stored data can only come from student interaction with the experiment. Students cannot simply type numbers they copied or made up into a lab report. An instructor can log in and see those data as soon as they are taken. Students can download their lab reports, complete with the data displayed in three forms, data table, graph, and points on an experiment image, and then send the report to the instructor. In essence, the computer system supervises the students. The person does not have to do it. The extra work of putting awkward regulations in place and enforcing them when using lab kits makes no sense when a better system is so readily available and supervision is built in. Use smart science explorations to have all of these benefits, including virtual supervision from a proven system that's been in use by students for years and has already delivered nearly one million learning units to students around the world. Why make life hard? Reports from instructors using smart science explorations assure us that learning is even better than with traditional labs, lab kits, and simulations. Use the best. Use smart science online, hands-on labs.